What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz. I really want to thank all of our Patreon supporters who help make this channel possible by donating as little as a dollar a month. Check out the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Of all the different types of saxophones, there are more great tenor saxophone players out there. The classic style was characterized by a fat tone with vibrato and a more arpeggiated style. I had a blast putting this together, and I really think I covered the top 10. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you disagree. Coming in at number 10, for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Stanley Turntine. Turntine began his career playing with R&B bands, greatly influenced by the saxophonists Illinois Jaquette and Earl Bostick. In the 50s, he went on to play with the bebop greats, Tad Dameron and Max Roach. In 1960, he married the organist Shirley Scott, and the two frequently played together. Later, he made several soul jazz recordings with organist Jimmy Smith. In the 70s, Turntine turned to jazz fusion and recorded a big hit entitled Sugar. Throughout his career, he also collaborated with Freddie Hubbard, Milt Jackson, George Benson, and Grant Green. Coming in at number 9 for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Gene Ammons. At age 19, he joined Billy Eckstein's band, sitting alongside Charlie Parker and later Dexter Gordon. Ammons led a group with Miles Davis and Sonny Stitt, and then replaced Stan Getz in Woody Herman's band. Ammons' style of playing showed influences from Lester Young as well as Ben Webster. While adept at the technical aspects of bebop, Ammons stayed in touch with the accessible blues and R&B of his day. With a thick, warm tone, Ammons displayed a vast range of textures on the instrument. Coming in at number 8 for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Paul Gonzalez. Gonzalez started playing professionally in Boston before his military service during World War II. After serving, he joined the bands of Count Basie and Dizzy Gillespie, before joining Duke Ellington in 1950. At the 1956 Newport Jazz Festival, Gonzalez's solo in the Ellington song Diminuendo and Crescendo in Blue went through 27 choruses. This performance is credited with single-handedly reviving Ellington's career. <laughs> Coming in at number 7 for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Illinois Jaquette. At age 17, Illinois moved to Los Angeles, California, where he met Nat Cole and Lionel Hampton. He joined Hampton's band and was featured on their recording of Flyin' Home, which is now recognized as the first R&B honking tenor sax solo. He went on to perform with Cab Calloway, Count Basie, and led the Illinois Jaquette Big Band from 1981 until his death. Jacket without a doubt influenced R&B and rock and roll saxophone playing, defined by low register honking and high register screeching. <laughs> Coming in at number 6 for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Eddie Lockjaw Davis. Lockjaw played in many genres, swing, bop, hard bop, Latin jazz, soul jazz, and rhythm and blues. 
He played with Cootie Williams, Louis Armstrong, Count Basie, Johnny Griffin, and Sonny Stitt, as well as performing and recording extensively as a leader. His 1946 band, Eddie Davis and His Beboppers, featured the trumpeter Fats Navarro and pianist Al Haig. <laughs> Coming in at number 5, for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Leon Chu Berry. Berry was inspired to take up the tenor saxophone after hearing Coleman Hawkins. Most of his career was spent with swing bands of Benny Carter, Fletcher Henderson, and Cab Calloway. While Coleman Hawkins had moved to Europe, Berry was one of the several younger tenor saxophonists eager for the tenor crown in America, along with Bud Johnson, Ben Webster, and Lester Young. Barry's mastery of advanced harmony and his smoothly flowing solos influenced Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker. Parker named his first son, Leon, after Chu Barry. Coming in at number four for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Don Bias. Similar to Webster, Don Bias started his playing career with the Benny Moten Band in Kansas City, and he idolized Benny Carter. Then Count Basie chose Bias to succeed the solo tenor post of Lester Young. Although Bias' style is based in the big band swing, he loved the beboppers and played with Coleman Hawkins, Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker, Oscar Pettiford, and Max Roach. Bias led a small group in the mid-1940s, featuring Charlie Shavers and Slam Stewart. Throughout his career, Bias worked extensively in Europe and lived in Belgium, Spain, France, and the Netherlands. <laughs> Coming in at number three for top 10 classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Ben Webster. Webster first gained notoriety as a member of the Benny Moten Orchestra with Count Basie and went on to join the bands of Benny Carter, Cab Calloway, Fletcher Henderson, Teddy Wilson, and most importantly, the Duke Ellington Orchestra. Webster considered Johnny Hodges a major influence on his playing. He left Ellington and played with Raymond Scott, John Kirby, and Sid Catlett. In the 1950s, Webster frequently collaborated with pianist Oscar Peterson, trumpeter Harry Edison, and Jerry Mulligan. Coming in at number two for top ten classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Lester Young. Coming to prominence while a member of Count Basie's orchestra, Young was one of the most influential players on his instrument. In contrast to many of his hard-driving peers in the Coleman Hawkins school of playing, Young played with a relaxed, cool tone and used sophisticated harmonies and rhythms. Known for his hip, introverted style, Young invented or popularized much of the hipster jargon which came to be associated with jazz music. Finally, coming in at number one for top ten classic tenor sax players in jazz, we have Coleman Hawkins. Hawkins was one of the first prominent jazz stars on the tenor, earning the nickname the father of the tenor saxophone. His virtuosic, arpeggiated approach to improvisation, with his characteristic rich and vibrato-filled tone, was the main influence on multiple generations of tenor players, starting with Chu Berry, Ben Webster, Herschel Evans, Buddy Tate, and Don Bias. Through them came later tenor men, including Arnett Cobb, Illinois Jaquette, Paul Gonzalez, and Lucky Thompson. While Hawkins became well-known with swing music during the big band era, he had a significant role in the development of bebop in the 1940s. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the list. Like I mentioned before, there are so many great tenor sax players, and I really had to isolate this one in the classic style. 
There of course is some gray area, with many saxophone players dipping into later styles of jazz. But I felt that this list best encompassed the classic players. Please stay tuned for a few more tenor saxophone lists. And as always, we really want to thank all of our Patreon supporters who helped make the channel possible. Check out the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.